Hello guys, it's Philly Cuts with a little commentary about NHL 11. Just want to apologize first for the microphone quality. I'm basically using a plug-in Logitech $10 microphone, but that will improve once I buy a new microphone. Anyway, I'm just going to give you some of my thoughts, feelings, and opinions about this game. Uh, right off the get, I'm playing against the computer in all-pro mode. I find that mode to be the most enjoyable and engaging mode. But I'm going to do a little scrub play. I like to play with teams that are not exactly the best. Sorry, all you Florida Panther fans out there, but those are the teams I kind of like to play with. I like to play with you know, them, the Maple Leafs as of late, Blue Jackets, you know, kind of the more obscure teams, rather than playing with you know the Blackhawks all the time, the Capitals, the Penguins. The San Jose Sharks, you know, you go online and that's who people play. Anyway, right to the face-off, you know, they have the new face-off mechanic. Uh, I wasn't really blown away by it. It's okay. You know, nothing, you know, mind-blowing. It is a bit different than previous versions. There's different things you can do. You can push it forward, you can puck. Uh, you can ha have another guy your left or right winger come in and take the puck. Nothing too crazy. So I'm going to do a uh, cheese goal, what's known as a cheese goal, and you've been able to make these type goals since I can't even remember. I've been playing oh, this series I don't know how the pad didn't um, get that. on the 360 the now pad, since and the 07, and you've always been able to make these type goals skate around the net either forehand or backhand and you can always slip it in a lot of times it's through the five hole but as you can see there it just gets right past the goaltender's pads now I get in here for the easy one two deke and that's one thing in this game that I feel is a lot easier in past versions of this game is that when you get open ice like that and you can just go a little, you know, one-two deke there. You know, a backhand to forehand deke. It's a lot easier in this version than HL 11 prior versions, I feel. You know, that has a pro and a con. You know, if you're not a good deker, such as myself, hey, I'm loving it. Be able to make those type goals. And there's the computer with a nice goal on the rush there. Does the little what fake kick up? I mean, to get that you can see. Whoop. Kind of action. Yikes! Just cranked. He gets a top corner. All of that shot. But really, the physics system is pretty cool. Uh, you are going to see different types of hits. Um, but once and again, it's. It starts, I don't think that off. it's anything overwhelming. Um, you know, you're just going to kind of notice diff different animations. You're going to see different things happen. But I don't think it's anything that can be classified as revolutionary. I think that the biggest jump that this series has made was when it went from button pushing to the analog skill stick. And that was really the most significant jump that this series has made. After that, it's just been really refinements. You know, you can't reinvent the wheel no, every year, and that's, I think, the problem with a lot of EA Sport games, and not really the problem with EA Sports games, but I believe the expectations that people have with EA that's Sports games is that they almost in. expect a reinvention of the wheel every year, and realistically, that's not possible, and there's a one-timer goal that I got and and let me go off on the one-timer goal tangent. It's definitely a lot harder this year because the defenders really cover that crease pretty good. And as you can see, this wasn't a uh, clear-cut one-timer goal. It was a bit sloppy. I think it actually deflected a bit off the defenders' skates there. My, uh, my winger was able to pick it up and get it in. 
Andy Malone, he's in on a breakaway. So that is definitely a, a refinement and a much needed improvement that this series needed to make because in past years and years past, the one timer was just abused. It was abusive. I think in probably 08, it was just ridiculous. You could Under eight minutes left to pretty go. much make one timers period. nonstop. Goal, you know, one it was really maybe so far that it can be really reached. ridiculous. Zone right there, but not and another goal. area that where you really have to a lot of whip in it. Good job with a stick to get that puck off take your time and, and not just Shot blindly score! do things is passing. And they answer. Um no longer will you be able to pass just ridiculous tape to tape. Well, if anybody deserves a goal, you know, it's basically this guy. pull that Not right trigger hand, button and it's going to get to where you think you want it to go. I mean, you really tank. have to take your time in this year's version. Game, Aim period, is going to require a lot more skill, which I think is, is great. It's definitely a learning curve to it because uh, my passing has definitely suffered, and I don't, I can't imagine anybody whose passing hasn't suffered. And as you can see, <laughs> I'm going off on this tangent, but. The computer now is just racking up goals on me, which seems to happen a lot when you're playing against the computer. You'll get a uh, comfortable lead, and then all of a sudden, in like the last 10 minutes of the third, the computer just kind of goes off. They just start doing everything right. Now, granted, I got to take responsibility because I didn't change my four check here. I was probably doing an aggressive four check the whole time, and I didn't switch it, so I was sleeping on my part. But, <laughs> as you can see, the computer has just went off and scored three quick rapid-fire goals. Sometimes there are too many players out there. I think when you pull your goalie, this time middle. So we are going to go into OT here. And once again, no real surprises. Well, we're going to go to a shootout, maybe. We got an overtime period to try and find a cut scenes here, as you can see, a lot of them look pretty much the same. I think you're going to be pretty hard pressed to really come up with new, you know, jaw-dropping cut scenes. Now I know that the most important thing about a game is gameplay. Of course, I mean, any intelligent gamer is going to tell you that. It's not about presentation and flash and pizzazz. It's about the gameplay. But when you've been presented the same cutscenes over and over again, or at least the same look for the past four or five years, it does get tiresome. and. Nobody even online watches the cutscenes, and that's a uh, <laughs> definitely a touchy area with a lot of people. I mean, you can get into a lot of fights with people if you want to watch your replays on goals, which that's a whole nother matter. That's a whole nother video that I can't even get Overtime into. Overtime underway with that drop of the puck. See if we got a hero. But here we are in OT. Over, four to four. My back is up against the wall. Washington now has the momentum all on their side. Oh boy, the fans are none too happy. What a comeback by Washington. Time in the game, and it's will Cuts the make team. it? Will he pull through? Oh, and it hits the back iron, and that still happens about three or four times a game. We're going to get that. It always happens. Always happens. I really thought that goal was going to go off the goaltender's pad there. Period. And with a score tied here in overtime, but we're looking I get the snapshot. And oh, the spotlight. Yeah, that's a new. That's one of the new 200 game improvements that are now available in this game. That's right. Right on the box it says that there's over 200, it may even be 250 game improvements, and that's one of them. The spotlight, man. And once again, this is the same as all previous years. The three stars. That was the one thing that uh, I think the 2K series had on EA Sports was the presentation. The, the 2K series definitely kicked EA Sports' ass in that department. However, the gameplay was arcadey and even more ridiculous than this game is. 
by probably about 10 times. However, I'm hoping in NHL 11 they really step it up in terms of presentation and just giving, you know, different arenas and different venues a personality because right now everything is all cookie cutter. You can't really tell you're playing in one arena from another other than the emblem on the ice. Anyway, that's been Philly Cuts. I'll get better at these commentaries. This is my first one off the cuff. But thanks for watching, guys. Peace.